Hello, my name is Ray Williams, and I'm an educator at the Blanton Museum of Art. Today, I want to share a painting with you that was made about 400 years ago by a French artist named Claude Vignon, working in Italy. It's important to think about how something made long ago and far away might have something to say to us about our lives today. The painting is based on the biblical story of David and Goliath. Let me tell you the story in my own words to give you a better understanding of the situation here. David was a young shepherd. He and his family were members of the Israelite tribe who believed in one God and are featured throughout much of the Bible. Now, the Israelites were in conflict with a rival tribe, the Philistines, and there was a battle afoot. David's older brothers were at the battlefront, although David was too young to join them. After several weeks, David's father said, Son, leave the flocks for a while. Take some bread and cheese to your brothers and come back with news. When David got to the place where the two armies were camped, he saw that the Philistines had sent out a giant, Goliath, nearly nine feet tall to challenge the Israelites. He stood there in full armor in the middle of the battlefield and shouted his challenge. Send your strongest champion. The armies can avoid bloodshed. We can settle this one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> David was shocked to see that no Israelite stepped forward. He went to his king and volunteered. I may be young, but shepherds are tough. I have rescued a lamb from the jaws of a bear. I have courage and faith that God will be with me. So David went down to the river and chose five smooth stones to use in his slingshot. He faced Goliath on the battlefield. The giant laughed in his face and charged. David sent a rock flying directly to the giant's head. It knocked him out cold. The Philistines fled when they saw their champion defeated. The Israelites celebrated. David was given royal robes by the king's son. Suddenly, he had become a hero to his people. What do you think Claude Vignon was trying to show us in his painting of David after the main action of the story was done? We look at David's face and we have to wonder, what was that experience like for this young boy? He had proven his faith and courage. He had been celebrated as a hero and he had killed another person. We look at the head of Goliath and wonder about his life experience separated from others by his abnormal size and used as a weapon, as a monster. It's complicated. I really like the way the picture invites us to imagine David's thoughts and feelings instead of showing him as an action hero. In a way, the painting is a reminder of our need to reflect on our own actions and how they may affect others. To think about what kind of person we want to be, what we will stand up for, to notice how we are growing and changing and responding to the challenges that come our way. I hope you enjoyed thinking about the painting of David and Goliath. Pictures and stories often ask us to imagine ourselves in someone else's situation. That's called empathy. It can be complicated, but it's an important skill to develop. Empathy can help us be a better friend or ally to see and value many different points of view. If you're working on a journal inspired by this video series, please check out the related materials for some ideas and activities.